I want to marry this. Like, I'm already married, but I kind of want to marry this. So I don't, I'm going to figure out how to put a ring on it, and then we'll make it a thing. Indonesia is a huge country, and with over 18,000 islands, it's no wonder its capital, Jakarta, is often overlooked. Most people fly into the city to make a connecting flight towards the promise of white sand and cocktails at sunset. That's where they miss out. Since it's often bypassed by tourists, this daunting, puzzling concrete jungle remains one of the most authentic megacities in the world, giving travelers a taste of all the diverse cultures that the country harbors, a conflation of Dutch heritage, island ethnicities, and modern infrastructure that will undoubtedly leave you confused and hungry for more. Jakarta is a big, crazy, boisterous city. That's exactly what I mean. And if you find yourself in the city only for a couple of hours and you're wondering exactly where to eat and where to get the best food, this video is for you. We're about to explore some of the best street food you can find in Jakarta in a very short amount of time. And I'm already really salivating thinking about it. Now that you've arrived in the city, one of the problems you're gonna have is actually getting into Jakarta. Um, most people will be staying in the central area. Um, you can take a taxi. That is probably one of the most trustworthy companies um, and it just prevents you from using some of the more sketchy companies. You can also book a Grab or book a Gojek. You know, they're very, very present here. You can get that. If you do take the car, do know that it can take you anywhere from 45 minutes up to three hours. First time I came into the city, it took me about two hours and a half, which can be quite problematic. There are other ways, obviously, you can get into the city, and we're gonna run them down for you right now. Aside from taxis, you can also take the train to the city. It'll take you about 50 minutes to get to the Sudirman Baru station, which isn't too far from central Jakarta, and will only cost you about five US dollars. Knowing this, I wouldn't recommend taking a bus and would stick to either the train or a car, depending on where you decide to stay in the city. Jakarta is a massive city, so if you only have a few hours to spend here, then where you stay is super important depending on what you want to do, uh, what you want to experience, or what you want to eat. Here's a quick rundown of the different places you can actually stay in. The city can be divided into five areas, south, west, central, north, and east. If you're looking to just have a good time, party, eat good food, and enjoy the more modern side of the capital, I would suggest booking a hotel around the Kemang area. Once you're in the city, you'll need some money. And here it's called the Indonesian Rupiah. And in a matter of seconds, my friend, you will be a millionaire. But unfortunately, a Rupiah millionaire. But this is how much you'll need to get around. To give you a sense of the prices, an inexpensive meal will start around $3 and will climb to $10 for a mid-range restaurant and can go higher in the more upscale places. A beer will set you back about $3 while a cocktail will go for $10. Grabs and taxis are fairly cheap, starting at less than a dollar and climbing 50 cents per kilometer. Now that we've got our bases covered, we headed off to meet Kevendra to go explore some local dishes in Sabang Street. This street comes to life at around 5 p.m. Starting as a busy through fair, vendors begin setting up, igniting fires and billowing smoke, a sign that good eats from every corner of the country are about to be served. Hungry office workers converge, dodging motorcycles, ondel ondels, and buskers, all with one purpose, street food. Marinated pieces of meat grilled over hot coals and lots of smoke, doused in sauces ranging from spices to a thick peanut sauce to ketchup manise. There are lots of different meats used and styles in which it's made. Their small size make it so that you can try them all. Some goat perhaps, or some beef, or even some eggs. This is this is, this is from uh, Madura, ya, Pak, ya? Oh, from Madura, Madura, Jawa Timur. From the East Java, the Jawa Timur. <laughs> Smoke's crazy. But you like, look at the caramelization of the ketchup That's manis. That's beautiful. So the this, kambing. This is kambing. The so kambing. Goat. And then if you see that, Erwan, yeah. that's the embryo of the egg. The embryo of the egg. Yes. Can we try one of those also? Yeah. Pak, boleh minta itunya satu? I've always been a sucker for embryo. Right, oh, oh my gosh. You okay? Oops. 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 Bloopers. I feel like a CPI. <laughs> so 
So we'll try first the chicken fetus. The chicken fetus, exactly. The chicken fetus and also the, the, the membrane skin. And the skin of the chicken? And the skin of the chicken. Okay. And then I put that in yes, the Yes, put cake. that in. And if you want quite spicy, you yes, got the sambal. I want spice. Got spicy food. Little bit. And if you like ketchup manis, you can get... So we put it on, on top of it? Yeah. Just a tiny bit. Try first. Because each and every satay vendor, they have their own spiciness level. We don't know until we taste it. You have no... You have no faith in me. <laughs> Just try. Okay, let's see. Put a little bit. That's let's like see. half a teaspoon into the rice cake. Right. All one bite or All just... in one. Um, I mean like, that's what if, I don't want. If you can fit it, if you can right? Fit it. Okay. I don't know. Too big. This looks strange, but... Yeah. The texture is not like... It's like an egg yolk. It's like an egg yolk. Yeah. Right? And that's the chicken, the chicken satay. Chicken satay. It's so comforting. <laughs> it's so comforting. Like, I mean, I can eat it every day. This is I the can... only reason I came here. Yeah. It's for yeah. satay. <laughs> oh, like... our music stopped. Oh, the music yeah. stuff. Okay, they said, okay, let's move it to other people. Okay. <laughs> you don't visit Indonesia without trying nasi goreng. Fried rice that's not just a side dish, but a meal. You'll often find a hot wok, oil splattering in all directions, housing everything from tamarind to dried shrimp paste, tossed in with a bunch of vegetables and varying proteins. All right, so here we have nasi, nasi goreng, goreng right. ayam. Nasi goreng ayam. Okay. And how many types of nasi goreng are there? Wow. Actually, nasi goreng um, mostly have in the island of Java. But each and every house, they have their own recipe of nasi goreng. With the rice? With the or rice. No? I like that way. I like the way that you just so you uh, show me. like a spoon. Yes. Right? Like a canapé. <laughs> You ask it spicy, mm. right? That's right. You like it spicy. That's for spice. That's good. That's good. Oh my god, spice. <laughs> Walking down the street, you'll quickly realize that you'll find the name of the dishes followed by words. These basically are the main ingredients found in that particular dish. People love the availability of options and customization with their food. From all the condiments you'll find on a table to the types of protein and vegetables found in a dish. Here's a quick glossary to help you out. Ayam is chicken. Sendawan, mushrooms. Daging sapi, beef. Udang, shrimp. Ketam, crab. Kambing, goat. Masin, salted fish. Kari, curry. Mera, red chilies. And petai, stinky bean. Now if you're looking for something deliciously greasy, we've got just the thing. The sweet version of martabak is not for the faint of heart. The amount of oil, butter, and sugar on this dish will send your mind spinning. Okay, so here we have martabak. martabak. Okay. Yes. So we have the savory one going there with yeah. some chocolates and peanuts. Yes. And then this one's going to be... This is the savory one. Okay. And that's the sweet one. Look professional, right? They separate the place to... Very clean, that. I like Very it, clean. yeah. What? So actually, the, the savory one is inspired by the the Egyptian Indian spices. Okay. They have the curry. You see, like they're using the ghee also All right. inside of the oil, just ghee. All right. So now it's being folded. Yes, yeah, being folded. And it's just it's taking a shower in oil. Yes. In in the in the sweet one, it was um, all purpose it, it, flour. Yes, all purpose flour. Instead of we have soda sugar. Soda a little bit, the sugar, and sometimes they use also the egg also of course. Egg. Sometimes they're using vanilla extract. To get just a little bit it's of kind of like sweetness. a pancake, right? It's actually like okay. a, a pancake batter. Yeah. You just play with the consistency and, and the proportion of the each ingredients, and you get martabak. Uh, okay. So yes. when I say that is a total indulgence, I'm not lying. I'm, I'm like, gonna hit the gym so hard tomorrow. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, because it's dating. Yes. Damn. <laughs> How is that? Sweet. That was. That was. Yeah. That, that was that's nice. heavy. It's like a donut almost, like you just have one bite, I mean one whole piece and you're good. Yeah. Okay, now we try the savory the one. The savory one. This is a vinegar based sauce, I've got grease all over my hands too. Two different flavor combinations. completely different. Exactly right. And but like, they're called the same thing. They call it the same thing, Matabak. They should change the name to this to uh, Cardiac Arrest <laughs> Cart in Jakarta. <laughs> If you need a break from all the street food or if your stomach just can't handle it, you can have some great nasi padang where you can taste a little bit of everything at Natrabu or Garuda on the same street. 
If you can't make it to Jogjakarta but want to try one of their famous dishes, make it a point to stop by a nasi gudeg stall. The star here is the gudeg or unripe jackfruit which is stewed overnight in a sweet liquid. If you have a sweet tooth that translates well into savory preparations, this is the dish for you. And just because we haven't had enough food, we're now <laughs> having gudeg. We are having gudeg. Gudeg is a dish from Central Java. You know, it consists of many components. This is a braised jackfruit. Braised jackfruit. Yes, braised egg. And then the braised uh, tofu. Yeah, this Lots looks of... crazy. It's like crazy. It's like... literally just fat. Yeah, it, it's a ox, skin. ox skin. What does gudeg actually mean? This gudeg is, is like... this. A gudeg is a jackfruit. Gudeg is a jackfruit. This is actually a cooking technique that you call gudeg. All and right. then, so all of this will be served with this. With, with so the jackfruit. The, that's the central. Exactly. Pattern. You have to crush the chili yeah. with the back of the spoon. Ooh. Because it's already braised also. This thing. I'm funnily enough still hungry. Mmm. <laughs> it's sweet. It's sweet. So it's a typical of Japanese dish. Sweet. It reminds me of a, a local dish we have in the Philippines. It's called pumba. It's like a sweeter pork soy sauce stew. Uh -huh. so this egg is like hard. It's a hard boiled egg. Wow. But the, but the seasoning penetrates under the inside. Mm. But what I love is that all the food we tried yeah. so far, all very different in terms of texture, yeah. flavor. Yes. And you know, Indonesia is such a huge country. Yes. But it's cool that you guys can find all the different regional specialties yes. right, in one area. Yes, exactly. That's what I love to say, tell about Jakarta. Jakarta is like a melting pot of all different culture of Indonesia. I want to marry this. <laughs> like, I'm already married, but I kind of want to marry this. <laughs> So I don't know, I'm gonna figure out how to put a ring on it and then we'll make it a thing. We all have those soups we gravitate towards when we need a hug or for when we are sick. That is exactly what soto is. A traditional bowl filled to the brim with broth, meat, and vegetables that will make you feel at home in no time. So this is the grand finale. Right. And it's like a tiny little bowl. I feel like it's, <laughs> it's a soup made for small people. Yes. <laughs> this is called soto erwan. Soto. Soto okay. is actually when it comes to what types of soto in Indonesia, we have so many soto. Uh, there is one exact recipe for soto. It needs to be full like a soupy. And I'm so happy that we finally have vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I just feel like yeah, it. This, is, vegetables, this yeah. is the vegetable. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. So the bean sprouts replace the noodles where you would have it usually. Yeah, exactly, and you have tons and tons of, you know, like mm. uh, spring onions. Glorious. Because they make it using this stock from the chicken, but a clear stock, not intensified stock. Mm. So that what I love in true Indonesian fashion, the condiment <laughs> is three times the size of the bowl. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the meal and this is the this condiment. Is <laughs> so it is actually a gizar of the chicken, this liver of the chicken, there's a quail egg, braised also with several uh, ingredients, especially ketchup manis, different tempeh, salted, as simple as that. And this is actually the most favorite condiments for soto, the fricadel, the percadel. And this is made out of potatoes. And you put it inside. And then you just eat it. Oh, well, if you finish this and this, then obviously this is a whole meal. Then definitely I would not be able yeah. to finish six. six this is the carp, actually. Wow. Right. That's like a complete departure from anything we've had. All of a sudden you're eating something very Asian yes. and you put this in and it's like you're having a, a bald mashed potato in there. That's what that's what interesting about Indonesia that we actually we absorb so many cultures, we absorb so many things, especially when it comes to food, uh, the assimilation, the cultural assimilation that you can actually sever on your table daily. If you still have time and are looking for a nightcap, you can check out these bars. Basque, Leon, Lucy in the Sky, Lowy, Union, Safe House, or Lola. As you can see, this is an absolutely crazy place. Um, I, I believe it's one of the most underrated food cities in Asia. It's absolutely beautiful. So it's worth a second look, definitely. If you're coming in the area, if you're coming in the region, if you're going to Bali, for example, I really do recommend stopping by Jakarta and trying all the food and just experiencing the city for a couple of days. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Um, and we're gonna delve deeper into it. So we're doing two more episodes. One is all about kind of like family style home cooking and learning how to make um, Indonesian food. And the other one will focus purely on other good eats you can have during the day in this great city. So I'll see you guys there. Uh, we're literally in the middle of the road. Peace out.